and when you talk about pure athleticism, none better than Whitmore. And that's the reason why. Them on tape, he totally changes them offensively, oh, yeah. doesn't he? But you know, the key is for him, he's still a freshman. He's able to take a step over, position himself outside the restricted area, and get his body and mind ready to absorb the contact. He saw it coming. Yeah, he, he saw it. Threw the foul on Langford, his first. His arm strong, probing. Through Slater. Again, late shot clock. There's a three. That goes down for just that little attraction. You know, was able to suck in the defense in order to get Slater that open jump shot ultimately in the corner. See, that you have those two things, you give yourself a chance to win. The talent will eventually catch up. You can have talent at that. At that secondary defender help. But Kurt Thomas was really good. Yeah. Yeah. They were never out of the play, meaning they weren't too far away from or hugging up on their part of what makes up this program and why it's been so successful over the years. Could he have gotten that? He doesn't know, but if he didn't go after it, he would have a chance to save it. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing about it, it's that mindset and mentality of that. Yeah, I mean, when it's in your DNA, the table doesn't really matter. Another three. Which would begin to creep up into where his average has been. Pressure right here by Chad Kelly. Not a lot, just to bleed some time off the shot clock. Ryan, I mean, I don't want to say hey, Ryan, I don't so blame you. It, it always, it, Chris, it was always going to come out one time. Whitmore. Uh oh, little step to the left. Oh no! So they're kind of right on target. Here we go. There's one and a stuff for Whitmore.